That's right. It's the final episode. I don't know why I warped to Gwen's place when actually I just need the boat. I warped to Gwen's place again. Am I going to play Dragon Song after this? No. Absolutely not. I don't... I don't hate myself. <laughs> Dragon Song is an irredeemable game. It's bad. It's really fucking bad. It is my answer. Am I gonna play Dragon Song? No, because Lunar only has two games in the series. That saves me. I could warp to Gwyn's, but then I'd have to go through the pass. And this saves me doing that. Here we are. Back where it all began. Began. Began again. Let me just bring my map. Let me get down. Quick swap. Alright, enter from here. There are no items on floor one. So we can just move towards floor two. Move directly into the first encounter. Uh-oh, I'm gonna sneeze. One moment. Whew, actually got the mute. Got muted up, just in time. I apparently started tonight's stream off with the hardest, one of the hard, harder dungeons that we're going to do. I say one of the harder because I have no idea what the final dungeon is going to look like. I, there's a lot I do not remember about this game. And uh, the difficulty of the final dungeon is one of those things. How nerfed line attacks got in this game. I guess maybe the devs just thought they were too good. I'm not really sure. Um, but like in the first game, you would declare a line attack, and no matter where the enemy moved, the person would jump 
all the way to the right of the screen and perform the line attack. Now there's like some weird cutoff that occurs at some point and that's where the line attack starts. I'm just gonna see if I can auto this. These guys seem hilariously low in HP. Um, but it just seems like that's where the line attack will always start from. And if the enemy moves left or right, then the line attack will not go the full screen. Will instead start halfway. It's just weird. It's weird. That's way too much experience to gain in one dungeon. Our hero is built to be a complete powerhouse right now, yeah. There are no items on this floor either. Actually, wait, hold up, let me check real quick. Entrance to A, A to B, B to C. Fourth floor. Fourth floor is the first floor that has any items on it. That's wild. But also, kind of makes sense when you consider the existence of this dungeon. Uh, this is the ruins that, canonically, a lot of people have just ransacked. Um, so, it kind of makes sense that all the items on the lower floors would be gone. So, I'm going to say I actually kind of like that. That's uh, actually kind of interesting storytelling. Well, looks like I got a little head ahead of myself. Didn't properly see these guys as threats. These enemies with the longest like hit animation, they just take forever to die. It's really weird. Alright, so we literally just go left. Yeah, the one chest on the early floors that everybody missed. Hero, who was built correctly, not as a joke. We just... D did it right. Decided, hey, you know how we always do it wrong as a joke? What if we just didn't? What if we just built a good fighter? Alright, immediately slam into the next encounter, same as the last one. Stop me if you heard this one. I'm just gonna hit auto and call it a day. Weird that. Alright, which one says 4-3? Let me get a good look at that map again. Oh, you're at the tedious map. This is the tedious floor. Gotta go the long way. With Yeti. Yeti, unavoidable. Friend Yeti. 
Freddy. Ooh. Ooh. I'm over there. Uh, that shot. Actually gonna drop an AOE. I feel like we're gonna need it by the time this turn comes around. Why is that guy glowing? They're cannons, you see. I think I think the basic mook version of those guys is called Cannon Foot. Ogre can be status effect. It What if we just blue dragon? No. Blue dragon I don't think is in the game. They're gonna go first. They go first. Beam! Sorry, I was shifting my weight. Perfecto. Lined it up perfectly. Salt coming. In my mind's eye, I had a future vision. And just, this is how it's gonna work. to the right. I'm gonna go up here and then loop back around to the right side. Where are the fireballs? Remember that there were fireballs in this dungeon? Like, they distinctly showed these fireball enemies in the intro. I wonder what ever happened to those guys. It is wild how much more dangerous the water dungeon was. Where enemies were hitting for way more damage. First. Multiple times. Second. And third, doing status effects. And in here, we're just like, yeah, one hit for damage, whatever. I definitely think they intend for you to come here first. That's what this feels like. They were like, hey, you remember the dungeon that, like, you couldn't get through at the start of the game. And maybe go check that out. What am I doing? Okay. See, we come in here. There's a real roundabout thing, but that is the best item to get in this dungeon pretty much that that one right there it takes a bit to get to it but it is wholly worth it yeah we're actually getting to the rooms that we saw in the intro of them running through and just like running past a bunch of items. Yeah, don't worry. I wish, I too wish we could change the dungeon music. It's bad. Batalian Sword ended up being MVP of this playthrough. I think when I first got it and looked at how weird it was, I didn't use it, but now it's 
quite handy. You know, just a casual 10 defense on this weapon. It's fine. Alright, time to go the long way. Make sure I'm doing this, going down the right path here. Uh, middle one. Yeah, you know what I haven't been doing? And I'm a fool for this. Oh wait, those are just generics. Yeah, that's... Yeah, let's see what the text on those is anyway. Alright, so... Master Sword, only for experts. Obviously. Galleon Sword is a valuable relic, we'll never throw it away. We have Athena Sword, which is blessed by light. White Fang is a deadly edge. Nameless Sword. Don't. Just don't. Don't think about it. We have the Holy Mace. Justice Rod. Crushing Fang. The Berserker Claw. Fierce Fang, which d indicates how it works. It does more damage the lower health you are. There was the... Sage's Staff, which actually tells you mutes enemies. Forged by experts for experts. Almost indestructible. Right shield blow blocker. Repels evil. It's just crazy. It's crazy how good this is. You'll never believe it. It took, me a, it took me a moment to read that over to read what it actually said. Thanks, Gabe. I don't even know what this one... What the, what does that mean? Alright. Let's get re-equipped. like that they just, you know, right. Right is always best. Almost. Bone mail. Bone mail's here. Don't you want to use bone mail? How do I have two sets of Dyne's armor? I don't. Wait. It's a good question. It's a good question, Mega Man. Don't think about it. I'm not going to get past this guy. Yep, they are insanely fast.
So those things are really tanky, huh? Start my timer, but let me get right back up front and center. Battalion Zord, again. It's the MVP. All right, can I stealth pass this guy? And go. Nice. Yeah, there it is. Dragon armor. So now we have the full set. We have a retcon Dragon Master set. So that's not what the Dragon Master set used to look like. <laughs> oh shit. Where did that guy come from? Let me speed this up a little bit. We've been, uh, been getting sidetracked a bit too much. Alright, so that was what? Exit D, which goes to floor 5. We're really on floor 5 already. This has something for another character. Sure about that. Are you sure about that? One more time. Positive. Completely. 100% sure about that. What is the run algorithm? What is the run algorithm? I'm just gonna sit here for a moment and run. It must actually, yeah, have something to do with if there are fast enemies in the fight, yes, no. And if there are, then it just doesn't go. It takes too long. We're finally gonna see what this guy does. What? <laughs> what? Three damage, 80 damage. That's some, uh, some real variable on you. Yep, there's Gene's best armor. And this floor is very simple. There are two sides. You figure it out. You can't get away from those guys. They're just real dicks. Again, you sure about that? One more time. Try it again. Give another one. One more RNG reseeded 100%. There we go. Ah, where'd my mouse go? How can I check this map if I don't have a mouse? Ah, the sounds of Lunar.
Alright, so... There's actually a bunch of items on this floor. I just realized that those uh, cannon foot guys are actually, I think, one of the fastest enemies in the game because they go before Gene, which rarely happens. Gene is so insanely fast. Um, and they're also the fast, like the fastest enemy on the map too. So that's kind of a neat little connection there. One more time. Okay, we fight. We fight this time. They're gonna learn. I'm just trying to keep this dungeon under our 45 minute quota. So, in chest number one. That's a really good helmet. I think that's Leo's. So I think we're almost all decked out. Hold up. Yep, yep, yep. Yes, 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 yes. Uh-huh. Think we need to find a gauntlet for her? That's it. We just need a gauntlet for Lamina. What is the Archer's Crest? Neat. Ah, I'm fine with the crest load out now. Yeah, orb down here. Speed of the devil. There, I think we actually have the full setup now. I think everybody is wearing their end game gear. I was gonna use this big AOE for just one dude. I got him. We'll never see it coming. Got him. <laughs> Destroyed. Removed. You may say. Alright, next floor. 
So this is exit F. If, which leads to an empty floor. Uh, two eggs, three exits. The middle one just goes back, actually just goes to that middle part right there. It's nothing. There's no point to go there. Let's see if we can run from this. Run has become less consistent. It's a little upsetting. And yet, the game likes to prove me wrong. So like you go up here and burp. smart about putting those guys right in front of doorways so that even if you wanted to try and avoid them they're very hard to one more just give it a good second here and okay. yeah very very confusing the mechanics of running in this game. That's one of those things that I would want to actually just straight up look up and educate myself on. Just to know how it works. which dungeon it was, but there was a dungeon last section, which was a while ago, uh, where I was able to run from like almost every fight. And that's when I realized, like, oh, you, you can just run way more often than I was letting on. And that made shit way more tolerable. Battalion Sword. Very good if they all line up. It is a... Normal, singular, his like single hit sword strike, but in a line, 100%. Can't tell yet, this one is a bit lengthier than our last dungeon. So here is H. There's a silver light on this floor, which I want. And then the exit is all the way on the left. There's another one to the lower left, but that is similar to the last floor, a fake exit that just kind of goes nowhere. So. Fight. Not Yeti. For the silver light. We'll kill him because we have to come back this way. No, I am running low on resources for Hero, as we have been going a bit deep. We have been ending almost every fight with a single battalion sword, so... Starting to run low. Oh yeah, the battle music is great in this game. Well, a little wearing on you after listening to it for an entire game. 
That's just one normal battle for him. But still good. Let's see if we can stealth pass this Yeti. And by stealth pass, I mean run. Hell yeah. That's all I'd say. Same. Well, um, I wonder if we've reached the boss of the dungeon. Can you, the viewer, tell me? Help me out. I'm not too sure. Big. Big. Right, she's just gonna cryo shield on a hero. That seems like the best choice, all things considered. I did not look up anything on this guy unlike the previous one. Going to this boss a bit more blind. Big. I'm gonna guess he's mainly a melee guy or, huh. I don't recall a doppelgang doppelganger fight. I remember enemies that did it. Should we spread? Or we could just go at him. He's just gonna do that again. It would just be wasting turns on our part. Good dragon wall. That's dragon wall. Why does it say not gonna work on Leo? That's so confusing. I like the sprite resetting every time I do that. Hmm. Let's try setting up a... Man, I wonder how much damage that would have done. Let's try setting up a field aura thing and then go at him with wind magic and see how that works. I haven't really messed around with the field magic stuff too much. Oh, you know what else we can do real fast? This is smart. He did attack buff himself. What if we just remove that? the mechanics that the game has presented. Alright, big. Show me what you got. That was not that bad. You're a big boss. You're some sort of... Wiggle hand. What is that animation on that hand? 
One or two, I have questions. I'm legit mad that the, the nameplates keep coming up and like kind of covering this guy. Because I love the way he looks. I want more of this guy in my eye parts. Man, we had two really good looking bosses tonight with the water uh, the water boss and this guy. Your damage just isn't that big, is it? Also, it appears that you are mainly AoE, which is... Like, you're mainly hitting everyone, so curious what the point of pulling it in was. Yeah, but the animations don't seem like they're area. They seem like they're all field. Which is why I'm saying, like... The confusion. Yeah, maybe to pressure you to spend a turn getting out of the AOE. I could see that. Alright, you're buffing again. I'm just gonna keep punching you. I hope you don't mind. I wanted to do something with Lamina and now I don't remember. Right. I had six of these. I'm not going to need six of those. Let's keep this gravy train moving. We're done. I didn't even need to use the silver light. The game saved me a silver light. Water dragon was slightly more interesting. By the way, you have to come all the way here to get the first scene in the game. In your rememberizer. ready for a final dungeon. We're going to take one last trip to Vane and stock up. But, uh, this is it. Oh, Vane, why do you scroll so weird? I really don't have this, like, weird visual thing that happens in vain anywhere else. Mm. 
not up. Alright, we're gonna hop back to the ship so that I can figure out the best way to get to the tower. Which uh, is a bit of a length, but not too bad. Oh. That's not the right one. It's right here. Can't get over there to approach from the other angle. Wait, actually we can. We just gotta get out. <laughs> I'm dumb. I'm dumb, y'all. I'm mad stupid. They clearly put the wrong... Because that's Opal and the other one is Sapphire. Whack. Sapphire's gonna be pink. Alright, but like... Can opals be blue? <laughs> Did you show the wrong character portrait? I glazed over it, it could have. Everything instantly wants to murder me. Start this fight off the only way I know how. That's right. The Talian Sword. I'll, I'll take still hitting too. Also, nice. That 420 damage. There's some opals that are blue from being there are op the there are some opals that are blue from being from the sea, but it's a very pale blue. Okay. It's weird descriptors because most people generally associate sapphires with blue. That's all I'm saying. But 
I'm happy that we're getting our look at all the enemies out of the way very early in this dungeon, so I don't feel bad about running later on. I just blue drain wait. No. Wait, hold up. There we go. That one. There's sapphires that are ready. I mean, they're called rubies. You're right. You have the feeling I'm not supposed to kill that enemy with melee. Well, that's why I thought they had the descriptors wrong was because of the left and right. Not just because of the color. I never really put two and two together with the color being like a little weird. Uh... Like with the sapphire not being the blue one because I just didn't think about it. But yeah, the left and right were also from our... Yeah, it's a whole thing. Don't worry about it. <sighs> Final dungeon. Final dungeon. Oh, it's right there. Yeah, so a lot of these floors are going to be very dense with enemies. Uh, because it's one of the... It's one of the tower-like dungeons. So... They, uh... They don't make the floors too big. Okay, here. Little Maisy. Sort of like down and around. Those knights, though. I'll fight a knight. What? Or we just kill it in two blows. I don't feel like I'm really doing that many fights. It's wild. This is one of those things that whenever I hear people say that, they felt uh, working designs up to difficulty. Not working designs. Was working designs the localizer or the creator? I can't remember. Anyway, when they said that they, they felt that they uh, upped the difficulty too much, they also sometimes think, like, maybe they didn't uh, use their abilities as much as they should have. Because I've never really had too much trouble with either one of these games on the, the revisit streams. Then again, I am safe loading, trying to run. That's me. To each his own. Uh, um. But I've generally been able to get through these pretty, pretty safely. I forgot how big the radius on Lamina's stat, like final staff is. It's huge.
shame about that magic resistance, though. Got away with 80 HP. Come on. Come on. At least we've got different dungeon music. Imagine they use the same generic music. Yeah, if I was playing this on my own console, I think at this point I would just like, yeah, anybody that goes real fast, just d don't bother running from. And probably would just be killing all of these. But then, yeah, I was a dumb idiot and would kill almost any enemy anyway. It seems like there might be a balance, like if there are slow enemies, like it might be the average of all the enemy speeds. So once they put some other things in the mix, it might be easier to run, but with just flat out only the fast enemies, you're generally not going to hit the escape. Like I'm honestly safe saying here because missing a run is the worst thing in video games, in RPGs. Uh, failure your run and then the enemy gets to take like a whole turn it is really annoying. I'll fight these guys though. These guys are new. Uh, actually, maybe not. Maybe these are just going to be the heads. Nope! Bomb angels are back. Hey y'all, remember bomb angels? And how they deal way too much damage? What if we just didn't deal with them? What if we just remove this entire encounter? while I look at the map and figure out where I'm going on this floor. Up and around. There is no fast way. There's not really a lot of whole side content to do in this dungeon, so generally it's just getting through the floors. That is the air quotes difficulty. Whoa. Luckily, because the floors are small, if I can, one more time, three taps every time, third time's a charm. Uh, if I can run because of the run invincibility that you get, you can actually get through a good percentage of these floors, like so. Yeah, at least Bomb Angels fit in here as opposed to like, I can't remember where they showed up the first time. Alright, one more, and go. Damn, alright. We fight this fight. They earned it. They earned it by the fact that I failed three times. They earned me spending MP to just end the fight immediately. Oh wow, they moved. Tell you though, it's that time of the year. My allergies are starting to act up and it is the worst. I have uh, 
had to do some yard work as of late. And uh, every time I do that, it is me dying for about two hours. I'm not saying I dislike yard work, I actually find it pretty soothing. I here's the here's the thing. I actually kinda like mowing the lawn. It's real nice. You just put on some headphones and push machine around for a bit. And then everything looks real nice and tidy at the end. It's, it's good. It's good. Alright, this time. I apologize for a lot of safe state noise during all this. But I feel like we've seen these encounters. We've seen encounters in this late, this part of the game at this point. And I have enough MP heals that each encounter just pretty much has become use abilities, go to town. So skipping the encounters is more preferable, preferable. D. This one is go down and turn right. And if people don't like seeing me run so much from fights, do let me know. I'll keep it in mind for future RPG playthroughs. But I come to RPGs for the boss fights, not the, the mooks. Yeah, I agree. The, like, and the, one of the biggest failings I think Lunar 2 has is the fact that it kept the, uh, the on the map stuff, but took away your movement speed, so it became way harder to avoid fights. Almost there, though. I think we got one more floor. I think this is the last floor. This is indeed the last floor. Yeah, no. Uh, I think... Moon R2 hasn't aged perfectly, but a lot of the content is still there. Uh, mind you, the localization has not aged all too well, uh, but that's a whole nother topic that we've discussed multiple times over the course of this playthrough. Needless to say, there are some topics, as I've said, uh, but in my words exactly. Lunar 2 is an anime game that was made in the early 90s and localized in the late 90s. And uh, the script shows it. And sometimes has problems. Please bear with us. before the end. I mean, this game doesn't have like column or row manipulation. You can manipulate your characters. You can't manipulate enemies, obviously. So like my, my loadout here, how the characters are actually showing up, I chose that. 
I put the you know the melee up front and the the, the, the mages in the back. That was all me. Oh yeah, yeah. Enemies can knock you around. You can knock around enemies though too. That's the big thing. Uh, Jean right there is really good for pushing enemies backwards uh, because she, at base, has so many hits. Hero, I have manipulated to have more hits than Jean, but that is through some major shenanigans. Also, you can move yourself around mid-fight. You have to use the defend command. I do agree. I think if they ever actually made a real deal Lunar 3, I wish they would allow you to choose and move. Like, almost making a pseudo-tactics game. getting those final levels in right before the final boss. Is getting around is getting moved around by hits actually affect anything? Uh some bosses have area attacks. Like there's three different types of attacks in this game. There is single target, all, or I think it's the game likes to refer to it, zone, which is like an AoE. So time to prep. Oh, right. One last thing I want to adjust. Don't. Don't think about it. Oh, that is not emulating at all, is it? Yeah, he is just kind of blinking out of existence on the capture. Great. This is why video games stop using this effect eventually. Man, remember when Shaft just didn't show up even on my view when I did uh, Rondo of Blood? That, I think, was the most egregious I've ever seen.
So Lunar 2 has the worst technical final boss in the entire fucking all of RPGs ever because it's a one on one fight. Uh, this is why I consider Zophar to be the actual end of the game. The epilogue to Lunar 2 is fucking abysmal. It, it was unneeded, it goes on way too long, and it is capstone with this fucking fight. To be fair, Lunar 2 does end fairly well at uh, defeating Zophar and the story can just kind of... Um, I'm sorry. Are you having a time there? Well. It's a good thing I safe stated. Let's put a replacement there and just fast forward that one more time. Oh, what a beautiful game. What a beautiful place. Yeah, it's really great that you went around to all those other dungeons and upgraded all your other characters for a one-on-one -on -one boss fight. Was that just a glitch? Hold up, let me... Hold memento. All right, just making sure, just making sure that he can actually use that. Yeah, I'm turning voice clips back on, just in case. By the way, that's another reason to do it. Uh, reminder, we saw this a lot with, uh, what's it called? Uh, Leo on the way up. But, um, hey, the hero thing, the hero talisman gives you ridiculous, stupid defenses. And you can give absolute zero shits. Welcome to this engaging final boss fight. This is the capstone of the whole game. You went up the tower and did all the prep for the one-on-one -on -one boss fight. Oh boy, who doggy? Here we go again. No proper challenge of your understanding of the system. It's one-on-one. -on -one. Why was that sound effect so loud? So he throws a bunch of elemental attacks at you. None will go higher than what you see. He doesn't have any, like, 
wildly outrageous, super stronger attacks. Heal. Get down to a bit and then use a full heal item on yourself. Go back to town. It's loud. Why is that sound so loud? Let's, uh, I'm gonna educate myself real fast. This boss has 10,000 HP. Yeah, alright. Read the tells of the boss. Have you invested in the tell reading system? All that work and you didn't get SWAT. That's right. 80, 20, did anybody else see that? Did anybody else see the last digit of my HP disappear? That's the big moment. That's the big, that's why like for as kind of long as the boss fight is, I went back and checked the recording and so far was a 50 minute boss fight, not including the first swarm. Um, I think so far is a way better fight. It feels finality. Your team comes together. This is a one on, uh, it's so bad. I, as a kid, I thought it was egregious and I thought this game was one of the best RPGs. Which even, like, now I can look back on this and be like, eh, it's not great. It has problems. It has good moments, but it has problems. Um, and I thought that fight was stupid and bad. Well, I'm going to up the in-game volume for a little bit, because this is it. Anime will die. search of my true destiny while you seek yours with Lucia on the blue star. Well, good luck. Until now, I thought I was the biggest gambler on Lunar, but it's you. I don't know what lies ahead of you on this journey, but I'm sure you'll manage to win it all in the end. So I'm betting it all on you. Well, that's my pep talk. See you, Chief. Hero, this is so very dangerous. I wish you could stay here with me, but I guess that wouldn't really be fair to Lucia or you. But, but then, your leaving really isn't fair to me either. <laughs> Some of what Ruby says is really true, you know, Hero. But then I... I'm sure you'll make it back to Lucia just fine. I have faith that you can do what you dream. So get out of here before I cry. Go. I mean it. Oh, I'm really mega bad at saying goodbye like this. But this isn't like a final forever goodbye, is it? You're just going out to pick up a friend. Oh, oh my kitty. <sighs> Hurry back, hero. Oh, I have control.
<laughs> Tears are forbidden when men part ways, hero. <laughs> Leo, you're the best. You're the best character in this game. You're the second best. Gene's the best, but you're there. You're there. You're really good. I love you, Leo. Hold up, wait, can I get that one again? Computer, generate Leo giving a thumbs up, please. Seems this is just the same conversations. All right. Well, it wasn't, yeah, it wasn't word for word, the conversations, but they were pretty close. <laughs> Loud. Now you know why I generally turn down the audio. One moment. I'm not going to suffer that anymore. <laughs> Well, except now we're back in anime, so I guess I'm turning it back up. Lunar 2, a game with terrible audio balancing. Oh, I mean, Hero went into this knowing that the blue star sucked. That's not me, by the way.
to all those that are catching Lunar for the first time, uh, I want to remind you of something that I learned researching uh, the PlayStation 1, the first, um, and that's the MJPEG format, which stands for Motion JPEG. That's why this looks a little goofy at times and has artifacting. These are JPEGs. It's a JPEG movie. That is uh, not a joke. I was... Oh, it is just starting. I, I feel not bad talk, talking over the song. I I don't know if it's just nostalgia, but I kind of like this song. It's goofy, but it's, it's all right. So here it is. We are we are at the true credits of Lunar Two. Lunar Two is better than one for sure one is a bare bones game uh well not bare bones but like eh, it doesn't have a lot going on it's a very generic anime plot two is a different generic anime plot but with better characters whereas one had like one good character and then main character guy girl nerd uh, this one has characters and actual story to them. Ron Farfer, as bad as he is, actually has a really interesting backstory, and I kind of like that. Um, I'm going to lower this down a tiny bit. Because I feel like I might be drowning myself out. Um, yeah, this one has two good characters, Jean and Leo. And like I said, um, oh, they're like... I don't hate Lamina. I actually think she's a very good comedy character. And that's the big thing. Gameplay wise, unfortunately, two doesn't change too much from one. Uh, the crest system is an interesting addition. It lets you adjust things and customize characters the way that you want, which is fun and neat. The game never really asks you to do this much aside from hey this boss resists all physical so pre please bring magic and then you have to use crests to get magic and that's it and there you go done period um dungeons go on too long dungeons go on way too long in this one holy shit also here, here's an aside here's a fast aside before things start up um Here we go, Dragon Saga.txt. I have the videos for Dragon Saga here. We have an hour and a 40, an hour 40, an hour 30, two hours 17, an hour 25, an hour 29, and then 228. A total of 10 hours to get through the Dragon Seal section. 10 hours. Anyway, more on that in a moment. Uh, Again, I'm gonna up this. Probably mute my mic. But uh, enjoy this in a moment. That's because I have to swap discs. Hold up. Disc controls. Open. To and close. And close this. <laughs> oh, look what we have here. That sucked. <laughs> oh, no. You need a spanking. <laughs> oh, oh. If I wasn't dying, I'd give you a good spanking. What? What? Blech. Retake. <laughs> Hold on a minute, I'm laughing. Erase this, I don't want any out outtakes. <laughs> Erase the bill. Wait a minute, wait a minute. <clears throat> okay, go. What, what do you mean? What, what do you mean? That was a bad one. 
<laughs> that, that was a big burst of air. <laughs> that was just a big burst of air. Just a big bellows of blow. So far, granted it. And now all, now I can't read. <laughs> Tell me, Lucia. Why do I keep calling her Lucia? Because it's spelled Lucia, that's why. It's Lucia. Lucia, Lucia, Lucia. You should be thrilled, dear Lucia. Your mission is nearly at an end. Did you like that? You should be thrilled, dear Lucia. Your mission is nearly at an end. Go forth, Princess of the Blue Star. Go forth and meet with the princess. Oh, I mean... <laughs> Don't... <laughs> You should be thrilled, dear Lucia. Your mission is nearly at an end. Go forth, princess of the blue star. Go forth and meet with the goddess of... Shoot, I just cannot seem to get that word out of my mouth. And I did not give you the satisfaction of a sh I might add. This... This reprieve from death was not an accident. So far granted it. And now that I have betrayed his purpose, his power will be withdrawn. I will weaken, and soon will be nothing more than a shadow. <laughs> <laughs> my tooth, my teeth literally stuck on my lip. I mean, it literally was like this. <laughs> <laughs> We'll record that. You are delirious. Your power has been drained. Face it, you're already... <laughs> now that you've failed in every possible way, the whole world awaits execution at Zophar's hand. Ugh. I'm sure he goes like this. <laughs> woody, woody, woody. What is that? Why is he doing that? Now that you've failed in every possible way, the whole world awaits execution at Zophar's hand. I cannot stop doing that. It's just part of the way that I talk. At Zophar's hand. At Zophar's hand. Fight hard, hero. Believe in your friends. The final test lies before sh <laughs> Peer into the eyes of your executioner! Wow, it's, I don't have much time. Althena didn't do that. I screwed it up! Lucia. 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 So, I distinctly, as soon as that line went off, I distinctly remembered that I screwed it up. Alright, now I'm ready. Lucia! <laughs> what was that? I don't know. <laughs> Ruby? Ruby? RUBY! Damn it! Ruby? <laughs> you seriously liked that? Hmm. Can you hear my stomach? Oh. Yeah. No, it's my tummy. I will find a way, Lucia. <clears throat> I will find a way, Lucia. I will make a... No, make a wish. <laughs> well, your solemn promise, I... Pro, I don't know. Just don't ask. It was a brain fart. Dodge this! Power up! Healing power! Heal! <laughs> Roll over! <laughs> Roll over! Play dead! <laughs> but Gal, you... <clears throat> I don't know what that was. Full ahead! Next up, 
So far, it's to me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I don't know. It sounded gay. I thought I thought I saw you laughing. <laughs> Galleon, you disobeyed Zophar and let us defeat you. You can't go back now. He'll kill you. Galleon, you can't go back now. What did... I screwed that up. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know what... I was skipping lines. Okay. Zophar, your twisted words don't scare us. We will not allow you to prevent this world with your evil prevent... Pervert, my bad. I felt it. I'm just gonna keep going. Eat this! Eat this! <laughs> Sorry! Sorry! <laughs> Eat this! <laughs> just think of the. <laughs> Eat this so far. <laughs> or you just back loose, yeah. Eat this! Hurry up! Made in the well, 90s. <laughs> I'm amusing myself. Sorry. All right. <clears throat> I can't say it now without screwing it up. Eat this. Uh, Edith, this. Because she's alone out there, waiting, and I intend to, f I intend to find a, a thing. I'm just gonna keep going, okay? You should know, Ruby. You. I'm getting the rhythm again. You should know, Ruby! You should know, Ruby. <laughs> you dumb bitch, why don't you pay attention? You should know! Ruby, you should know! You know, Ruby! Don't ask! Quit playing with my emotions! I think I can do it now. Ruby, you should know. What? 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 I didn't like your face on that one. <laughs> we're almost to Penagulia, Lucia. Once we're there, you can meet with the goddess Althenia, and your mission will be complete. I'm saying Althenia all messed up. Althena. Althena. I don't know why. I don't know. Lucia, Althenia, and I got the Eos on the end now. Your mission will be complete. After a long, hard journey, the end is in sight. But why do you seem so sad? This is what you've wanted all along. You shouldn't... You shouldn't be happy. <laughs> erase, erase, erase. Thunder, show me your power! <laughs> My voice is gonna break. Thunder, show me your power! Ferocious wind! <clears throat> no, I don't know what that was. Maybe it was from that chick that I made out with last night. I don't know. What I say what? I'm really sorry for some of these outtakes. No, a lot of them know. are good. I, some of them like, are bad. It hasn't been like that until just now. I don't know. <clears throat> that's kind of weird. We all believed in you, and now the happy and that's stupid. I'll just stop right there. Yeah. I'll pinch my butt here. Oh my god. <laughs> we all believed in you. And now, the happy ending we dare not even dream, I'm just going up and up and up until I can't stop anymore. Did you notice that? Now the happy ending we dare not even dream. You're wrong, Lun. Gah. Sorry. Shoot. You're wrong, Lun. Your worm-infested heart hides the truth from your eyes. Power grows when spread amongst the many and parents. Did he do? I'm going to afford to buy it for you. Sorry. I'm sorry. Galleon! I don't... Dang, it's the eye! It's the eye. That's what starts the whole crap. Try the barking? Huh? Arf! Woof. You're one of a kind. Sorry, I have a loogie. <laughs> Some of what... Okay. Fudge. Fudge, fudge, fudge. Some of what... Gosh. Some of what <laughs> Next. I can hear you laughing back there. <laughs> All right, Jane, come on. Yes, well, my name... Shoot, I laughed. All right, I'll do it again. Yes, well, my name is Jean. I lost...
lost my place. Okay, I almost said I apologize. Len's part up there. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Pull my finger. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> Were you recording that? Pull my finger. Pull my finger, Len. Uh, I know I shouldn't look at gift cards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Gift horse. Dang it. <sighs> Once I tried to bury the past, but it will not be buried. <laughs> Shoot. Huh? I'm doing now I'm doing but it but it but it all the time. But it but it but but out will not be buried. But the butt will not be buried. Once I tried to bury the butt. But the butt will not be buried. <laughs> Crap, you guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> Crap, you guys, but the butt will not be buried. Okay, shoot, let's go. We're gonna make it. Dave says I have an anal fixation. No, 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 that's not, <laughs> that's not what I meant. He thinks my whole family has this huge thing with farts and, you know. I don't. It's just that everybody brings out in me. Farts. I mean, shoot. I hope that wasn't recorded. <laughs> I'm finished running away. <laughs> I'm finished. <laughs> Oh, okay. The time has come to put aside the butt I have chosen to wear. <laughs> okay. I'm finished with not synchronizing my mouth to hers. I'm done. The Fortress of Althena? <sighs> Hi, I'm a dork. The Altress of Althena. <laughs> The Altress of Althena. The Fortress. Because Althena. I had Althena in my head. <laughs> well, I wasn't about to be that dyslexic, but I <laughs> The Altress of Fortuna. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to be scared here. Okay, here we go. <laughs> ha! That mega magic freak is gone for... Oh, mega magic freak? Was that right? Oh, I'm really mega bad at saying goodbye like this. But this isn't really a final forever goodbye, is it? You're just going out to pick up a friend. Oh, who am I kidding? <laughs> Hero. <laughs> I got stuck between hurry and hero. <laughs> Why can't I get that? Hurry, hero. <laughs> hero, hero. Hero, the time is now at hand for us to part ways. But this time, we do so as friends. <laughs> I did it again. That, that stupid da dang. <laughs> I did it again. Certainly, I am White Knight Leo, leader of Althena's guard, and this is the dragon ship Destiny. Now then, listen up. You kids need to evacuate this area. I don't want to see any civilians accidentally caught in, oh man. Sorry, I will breathe next time, I swear. No, that's too much like Arnold Schwarzenegger, isn't it? <laughs> I don't want to see. I don't want to see any of you smoking cigarettes and turning out like Gil Werner. So far, you're. <laughs> Couldn't get it out. I don't know what I was trying to say. So far, it was the only way to stop me from destroying everything. Karaoke! <laughs> <laughs>
I want to sing! I want to sing! In the end, the blue star was laid to wait. Oh, I'm too happy about it. <laughs> <laughs> you are not making this easy. A singing contest? <laughs> yeah, I do not have a gas problem. And you are so bad. They don't call me Smelly Kelly for nothing, you know. <laughs> You don't even have a glimpse of what's really at stake here. Oh gosh, I was gonna say something else than steak. I'm, I'm hung, not hung up on that steak, and I'm not even a vegetarian. <laughs> Dill, whoopsie. I want to believe in humanity's power. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> you don't understand anything. You don't have a clue. Darn. <laughs> I return to the blue star far richer than when I left. For you see, I now know that one day, when it is restored, my voice is going really crappy. <laughs> I return to the blue star far richer than when I left. For you see, I now know that one day, when it is restored, I can safely entrust it to humans who will care for it as terrier. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna kill myself! I'm gonna kill my. He prayed on a ma man. <laughs> <laughs> He preyed on mankind's greed for wealth and power, creating anarchy and chaos where there was once peace and love. Mankind fought one another with fu fu I hate that word! With furious, with, with furious finger. He preyed on mankind's greed for wealth and power, creating anarchy and chaos where there was once peace and love. Mankind fought one another with fu fu I hate that word! With furious, with, with furious finger. The once dead world of Lunar was transformed into a thriving land of wonder. Althena moved the surviving humans there to live in peace, while the Blue Star recovered from the Zophar's res Oh shit, dude. I'm so pissed at that last part! Gosh. Blue Star recovered from... I know! <laughs> well! <laughs> well, I sound, like, I sound like Tim Curley. Well, how about that? <laughs> you seem to shiver with anticipation. <laughs> well... <laughs> I'm just... Never mind. <laughs> too, much, too many misspent high school days. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> When Lun suddenly put, rips off this thing and goes into sweet transvestite. <laughs> I'm just a sweet. <laughs> okay, let's get back. Let's get. Uh, sorry. Nineties. Okay. <laughs> that sucked. Okay, let's try that again. Well, well, Gene, have you taken to associating with trash like this on a regular basis? I'm. D Is that where you wanted me to hiss? Well, oh, well, was that a horror show Gene, reference? Okay. Have you taken to associating with trash like this on a regular basis? I'm disappointed in you. I was really liking that and I bumped it. Have you ever have you ever missed a line and just felt stupid? Ha! No, that's not it. Ha! Got you, lid! Ha! <laughs> That was wrong. <laughs> However, Lucia, 
I came to know that while I existed, the humans were not truly happy. They lacked a self... <laughs> they lacked a sense. They <laughs> lacked a sense of humor. Okay. A sense. Sense of self. Sense of self. Sense of self. But I'll tell you where your guy is if you beat me in a game. The game that rules my life. Because the only truth I've ever found was well, haba haba. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, this is your moment. Ooh, I forgot my line. <laughs> I'm through running away, Mari. Do what you must. <sighs> Mari, I've finally come for you. I'm sorry, that's lame. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. Because <laughs> I made this weird noise in my side. It didn't make any sense. Okay. <laughs> Mari, I won't leave you alone again. If there's a burden to carry for what you've done, put it on me. I can bear it. Just come with me. I can blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I'm sorry. There was a shadow. That was, was that good, though, to start off? Oh, man. I was so into it. <laughs> I didn't think you'd notice. But never mind me. Never mind me. Woohoo! <laughs> never. Uh, uh. <laughs> I didn't think you'd notice. Until now, I thought I was the biggest gambler on Lunar, but it's you. I don't know what lies ahead of you on this journey, but I'm sure you'll manage to win it all in the end. So I'm betting it all on you. Well, <laughs> see, the whelp is like right when he pulls that finger up to his friggin' nose. <laughs> I don't know what lies ahead of you on this journey, but I'm sure you'll manage to win it all in the end. So I'm betting it all on you. Well, have <sighs> ah. Are you, do you really want me to go, because right when he pulls that finger to his nose, the whelp, he says that mother effing whelp. He's all, so I'm going, whelp. <laughs> do you see what I'm saying? Here, I got it, I got it. What lies ahead of you on this journey, but I'm sure you'll manage to win it all in the end. So I'm betting it all on you. Well. I'll see you later, Chief, because I mother knew this wasn't going to be a good one anyway. Damn! Until now, I thought I was the biggest gambler on Lunar. But it's you. I don't know what lies ahead of you on this journey, but I'm sure you'll manage to win it all in the end. So I'm betting it all on you. Woohoo! Man! Hey, Galleon, I think... <laughs> Hey, Galleon, how you doing? <laughs> Let's go hang out. <laughs> hey, you're getting ahead of yourself, Galleon. Hey, I think you're getting ahead of yourself, Galleon. I sound like John Wayne. I, do. I think you're getting ahead of yourself, Galleon. <laughs> I've got cattle behind me, Galleon. We're going to come run you down. <laughs> I totally pooped my pants. What is that thing? What is that thing? Uh, uh, hey, don't be like that. Oh, I'm doing a little cartoon voice, which makes it go way high. Hey, don't be like that. Hey, don't be like that. I intend to stick with you, hero. And there's... Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm just not there. I don't know what the deal is. I'm just not around there. I am so far master of... Sh <laughs> well then. You must work to strengthen the seal and make certain she does not succeed. For the moment, 
I will just watch and relish the way she worms her way into the hearts of the humans that have foolishly befriended her. <sighs> she is so misguided to even try to... <laughs> <laughs> well then, damn it. But wait, <laughs> there's one more. It's not in the outtakes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause this on the screen real quick, just just so that nothing, uh, nothing starts up. Um. So this is a file that exists in the game code. If you are trying to rip the set, like the, the, the sound files from the game and it is fantastic. Hold up. So this may play automatically. Psst. Oh my God. That has a thing going on to it, but let me turn this down a little bit. You. Yes, you. I see what you're doing. Ripping XA audio from the CD, illegally listening to it without legitimately finishing the game. You wanted to hear those outtakes so bad, you couldn't wait. I like that. Cheating is good. You know, when you cheated on a test in school and thought nobody was looking, I saw it, and I remember. When you lied to your parents, and you thought you got away with it. You didn't. But I liked it. <laughs> and now you're cheating with XA Audio. Where does it stop? It doesn't. That's the best part. I have a place just for you. A nice warm place right at my side. <laughs> That is the note that I am ending Lunar 2. Actually, the, the real note is the, the final summary. I started it during the credits, but just fi final, final summary. Let me get a... You know what? I know, I know what to do for this. Actually, I don't, but... That... Uh, uh, play... No, okay, whatever. It is. Accessing that disc. Uh, but anyway, that's the end of Lunar 2. Um, I, 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 I still stick to the same viewpoint that I had like about halfway through this game of it's better than Lunar 1, but it has all a lot of the same problems as Lunar 1 in that the combat gets very samey as the game goes on. You start to develop answers for just combat in general. This is the game. It scared the crap out of me. I'm gonna turn this down. Uh, that is just the game. Lucia singing for the baby. Anyway. Uh, yeah, this has all the same problems as Lunar 1. Combat gets very samey. Boss fights should be more fun, but they're really not. Everyone is just sort of beat it up and win eventually. Uh, again, so far was maybe the more, most interesting part of this entire game. It, it, thankfully, that is the final boss. The, the real, actual final boss. But don't think this game really holds up. That's the, that's the, the base point of it. I kind of rank this the same as the first one, maybe a little bit better. If the first one was a 6, this one is a 6.5. They do not really hold up. They have a place in my heart because some of the first RPGs I played. But sadly, it is aggressively mediocre. <laughs> That is, the sad thing about going back to games that you enjoyed when you were a kid, sometimes you must kill your n nostalgia and acknowledge that they have problems. But, uh, eh.
I enjoyed it when I was young. And I will keep that with me. So, uh, until next time. It is starting up again. I am pausing this. Until next time. Anime.